charcoal making is the probably the right after man tamed fire he probably learned how to make charcoal it's probably the oldest technology known to man and you can make charcoal just by digging a little pit sticking wood in there covering with soil and sitting on a fire and letting it smother for five days but that's very um, that puts out a lot of smoke that's bad for your health and it's bad for the environment the key really I would say is to work on making biochar and, and when it's clean and safe how can biochar be made it can be made and that's one thing I really like about it at any scale so you can have uh, basically a paint can in your backyard that you can rig up and, and you can all find that online it's called a toucan uh, because it used two cans to make it but it's written as it, you know the bird t-o-u-c-a-n uh, just to understand kind of how paralysis works and make small amounts of biochar you can make it there and you can uh, you know while you're making it you can boil some water a pot of water on top or do whatever you you can do with heat um, all the way through sm bigger units that are mobile if you have a little bit of you know a couple tools and access to a little bit of, of metal like an old drum for example to make something that's clean uh, for you know for for yourself who's operating it for the environment and makes good biochar also yeah. the guys that want to make their own knives they make want to make their own forge they want to treat their own metal those guys use charcoal real charcoal which is nothing more than biochar and all over the internet if you look at the guys that are doing metal work and building forges and working with that you'll find all kinds of ideas on how to build I started out with a simple 55 gallon drum with a smaller drum inside of it. I burn stuff that I don't want to be biochar that I'm not sure of on the outside, but what I want to be biochar on the inner can and put a lid on it. Yep. The next step is going to be a retort that takes all those gases that would escape and pumps them back down under a can running this way so that you're using the fuel that would be wasted as fuel to char your wood. And you're, burning, you're basically things. burning your smoke so it's, it's, it's a lot cleaner. One of the things you mentioned is not all biochars are equal and the temperature you make it at, as I understand it, has a huge effect. Yeah. Uh, the higher the temperature you make it at, the more crystallized structures are in there and the more longer lasting they are in the soil. Whereas with uh, systems that are closer to making charcoal, they're lower temperature and they're not quite, the carbon isn't as crystallized and not as long lasting in the soil. Yeah, the mm -hmm. downside of that is that when you bring it to higher temperatures, you lose more carbon. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. it's always, it's a, it's always a trade off. So it's really very scalable. Uh, a big projects on cook stoves in, in Africa and, and in Latin America for people to cook in cleaner ways with less smoke and also get some biochar to improve their soils. you by the avian aquamizer our poop free chicken water visit us on the web at www.avianaquamizer.com